Hi Emmanuel, welcome to a brand new day. It may not be a brand new day when you watch this video, but uh, know that every day uh, through Jesus Christ and through our baptism into his into his death and resurrection, every day is a new day for us, us as Christians. I want to introduce you to my home office. This is the place I'll be working uh, during these weeks of uh, isolation. Um, you can see my old crappy desk that my wife has wanted to throw out more than once uh, throughout our marriage, but it's a, it's a desk that I hang on to because I built it in high school shops. So it's, it's, a, it's a worthless but priceless treasure, uh, and it serves a purpose. I, uh, I've had a number of people talk to me about how they miss worship being together yesterday in uh, Palm Sunday worship. It, it, Palm Sunday is a great day of celebration for the Christian church. It's that moment when we see uh, Christ, uh, we get a glimpse of at least Christ's triumph as he, as he marches into Jerusalem. Um, and of course that's certainly misunderstood on many levels. Uh, some thought, saw it as a threat and uh, 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 the beginning of a, a rebellion or a takeover. Others recognized it. And recognize Jesus as the one who was bringing uh, peace into the midst of a chaotic world and one who was willing to give himself up to give up his life in order that in order to free to liberate uh, all of us for uh, the life that God truly wants us to have and so yes I too missed being with you I thank Pastor Zach for bringing us taking us on a car ride and helping us dance a little bit and uh, it was in spite of the fact we couldn't be together it was a it was a good day and i and i hope that those yearnings those longings for community and for worship and uh for the meal and and all of that i hope that the, that you allow those yearnings to to drive you into the word of god and to help you uh go, go deeper into uh, your relationship with jesus the one who is who is victorious and who still comes to us day by day uh, in every trial and every challenge uh, and in every joy. So, welcome to this morning's devotion. I want to I want to uh, uh, begin the Holy Week devotions with by looking at scriptures appointed for each day of Holy Week, and today we'll look at Psalm thirty six. Uh, but before I jump in into that, I want to recall with you. Um, I read recently an article that was talking about how you get ready for. Uh, an onslaught from this coronavirus and I forget what the first point was but the second one had to do with creating an emergency fund a financial emergency fund for uh, for a time of crisis even when you're in that crisis and then the second one had to do with preparing a will now that is not a very pleasant thought to most of us and yet um, it's a good reminder that that as Jesus walked uh, into Jerusalem uh, he wasn't he wasn't preparing for immediate victory. He knew what was coming and and he was coming into Jerusalem preparing for his own death. And so um, each one of us has the opportunity to uh, walk with Jesus on that journey and to recognize that uh, that that we too will have to face that someday. Uh, hopefully later rather than sooner, but we will have to face that someday, and we can face it knowing that Jesus has already been through it. And, and the starting place for us as Christians is not is not an emergency fund or a last will and testament. But even those are even though those are good things to get our house in order and get us prepared for for our death, uh, the starting place to prepare for our death is to is to is to move closer to God, is, is a humble heart and a repentant heart. So Psalm 36 begins with uh, defining what it looks like when we, have, when we don't have an unrepentant heart. It says, Transgressions speak to the wicked deep in their hearts. There is no fear of God before their eyes, for they flatter themselves in their own, in their own eyes that their iniquity cannot be found out and hated. The words of their mouths are mischief and deceit. They have ceased to act wisely and do good. They plot mischief while on their beds. They are, they are set on a way that is not good. They do not reject evil. 
This is the way of an unrepentant heart. Verse 5 continues, Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens. Your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your judgments are like the great deep. You save humans and animals alike, O Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. All people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. All people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life. For with you is the fountain of life. Now listen to these next words. In your light we see light. Oh, continue your steadfast love to those who know you and your salvation to the upright of heart. Do not let your foot, uh, do not let the foot of the arrogant tread on us or the hand of the wicked drive us away. There the evildoers lie prostrate. They are thrust down, unable to rise. So we begin uh, this move into Holy Week in the same place we started uh, the journey of Lent, Ash Wednesday, with, with true confession, with, uh, with a, a repentant heart and a humble heart, falling on our knees before the Lord, uh, seeking God's forgiveness, inviting and asking, pleading with God to move us uh, away from the direction of evil into the direction of life and freedom and liberation through his goodness and his grace. But I want to point out to you these, these words in verse 9, For with you is the fountain of life, in your light we see light. Now, if you remember, if you remember, those words are, um, they are in our church. They are, they are on our church uh, somewhere. Do you remember where they're at? If I remember right, I think they're over the door uh, of the, the east entrance, um, and they're written in stone. In thy light, we see light. And so I pray for you today that God's light shines on you through Jesus Christ uh, and that, that you experience that, that ability to humble yourself, to, again, to fall on your knees and to confess your sins and, and to know, to have the assurance that God forgives you. A great place to, to do that or a resource to do that is Psalm 51. Um, create in me a clean heart, O God and renew a right spirit within me. These are words that, that help us, that give us language to express to God our, our fallenness, our brokenness, our fear, fears and our failures. And they allow, uh, they allow us then to move into a place of trust where, where we know that God is with us through Jesus Christ to lift us and to, uh, to help us prepare ourselves for whatever might come. I pray that you can join us throughout this week uh, for devotions and also for our midweek services of, on Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and then, of course, Easter Sunday. I wish you God's blessings. You are in my prayers. Uh, you're in the prayers of the staff. We will be meeting via Zoom meeting tomorrow. I'll be meeting with council tonight, uh, executive council tonight, uh, so that we'll be prepared next week to meet together as council through all through Zoom meetings. Keep us in your prayers, and together, uh, together we will, we will see the sun rise again. If you get my drift, we will see the sun rise again. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this day. We give you thanks for your promises that, uh, and your calls to uh, upon our lives to confess and repent and humble ourselves. Help us to heed those calls and to, and to trust in your great mercy. Through this time of struggle and chaos, bless those who are uh, afraid, bless, bless those who are sick uh, and suffering, bless those who are caretakers, whether in the home or in hospitals or clinics, uh, those who are managers, those who are business owners, those with so much responsibility that they don't know what to do with right now, those who are unemployed and underemployed, Bless our sister Karen, who's going to be undergoing hip replacement surgery. Uh, bless uh, all those, Lord, 
uh, whose names are on our lips uh, this day as we lift them up to you. We pray together in Jesus' name. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God bless you on this Holy Week journey.